A madman from Gotham's past returned to terrorize my city. He drew me into his twisted game, striking at the things I hold most dear. But I survived his deadly traps. I emerged the victor. But the cost was too great. Lucius Fox is dead. Riddler is dead. And with him, the only lead I had to taking down the greatest danger Gotham has ever faced. And the person best equipped to help me is a threat to my deepest secret. The Riddler was going to be my way in once we captured him alive. But now I have you to lean on. A man who lives on both sides of the line and knows exactly when to cross it. Yes, you and I will be working together very closely. Bruce Wayne. First thing you need to know, I can keep your secret. And despite what you did, going behind my back to Mori, I will continue to keep it. No reports. Nothing. No one else needs to know. To deal with the present threat, though, I need both of you. The man inside and outside the mask. You have to understand, I'm not the enemy here. It may seem that way right now, but I'm not. Our problems are far too big for us to be bickering among ourselves. If that's true, then reinstate Gordon as commissioner. You really are loyal to that stubborn old mule, large. I'll tell you what. Play nice with me now, and when this is all over, I'll make things right with Gordon. When Riddler's friends hear he's dead, they ain't gonna just carry on carrying on. They might get sloppy. They might want revenge. Or they might simply accelerate their plans. I'm gonna need eyes everywhere in Gotham. A man like Bruce Wayne, with all his influence and resources, can go places Batman can't. You understand what I'm saying, don't you? Your public persona could be a great help to us here. Maybe even as much as Batman in certain situations. I understand. You think I work for you. You're not working for me. We're working together. After all, we both want the same thing. Am I right? What the oh. hell? <laughs> Looks like the whole city's under attack. We've got a report of a raid on the Gotham PD arsenal. If those bastards get their hands on our weapons... This is coordinated. It's Riddler's gang. It has to be. We're gonna need Batman for this one. Agreed. Emergency services is already pushed to the limit. Well, then we'll have to redeploy patrol officers to defend the arsenal. Don't divert any men, Gordon. I can handle the arsenal call. Thank you. Let's move, people. This is what we train for. There's been an attack in the financial district. Biotech on the other west side is under siege. Shut it! You 
got what you came for. You don't need me. Well, you better hope that's not true. I'll live your usefulness, and the boss will make a pretzel out of your neck. I'll keep running your mouth, and maybe I'll splatter you all over the wall. <laughs> There. I don't know. Ten or twelve, maybe? The really big one. He he made me give him the keys to the armored transport vehicles. I didn't want to, I swear. It's okay. Get out of here. Now. Thank you, Batman. Hey, you about done? Yeah, yeah, just about. All right. See why Riddler wanted to be the one to kill you. Riddler is dead. He's dead. You got Riddler? You should be worrying about yourself. I promised my men a hell of a battle if ever I faced you. And I'd hate to disappoint them. Oh, I haven't faced a true warrior since I left Peña Duro prison. Huh? <gasps> 
Man! Batman! Then say something if you can hear me! Gordon... Christ... Batman... Come on, help me! It won't move! Batman, we're going to need you to help us push this thing off. Come on! You can do it! It's moving! Jesus Christ. Come on. The mechanic. Where is he? It's okay, Jim. I just need a minute. Well, when you're feeling up to it, I'd love to hear what the hell happened here. Who did this to you? He called himself Bane. His men loaded the weapons onto the APCs, said they were taking them to a warehouse near the docks. You need to find them. Don't worry. We'll catch the bastards. You better believe the entire force is motivated after what happened tonight. These bastards declared war on our city. Tell them to be careful, Jim. Don't let them take any unnecessary risks. These men are dangerous. Montoya, update the APB information. And remind all units to proceed with extreme caution. Don't need anyone else playing hero tonight. Yes, sir. Thanks for sticking your neck out and calling me with this. I need all the juice I can get now that we live in Waller's Gotham. We're going to have to stick together if we're going to weather her storm. You and me? We're nothing like her. We're men of principle, who still believe in the letter of the law. I will always have your back, Jim. Thanks, Batman. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Thanks again for keeping me in the loop. It means a lot. <sighs> right on time. I'll get to the Batcave. See if I can make some sense of what happened tonight. So, what did I miss? 
Oh, it was at the scene of a heist at the Gotham brokerage house when Batman called me here. What were they after? We're still getting a full account. Once the dust settles, I'll send you everything we've got. Detective Bullock's writing up a full report. I'll have him send you a copy. Officers are ready for your deployment orders. I've got to get going. Your partner, Avesta. How is she? Still in the hospital. The doctors say the hearing damage could be permanent. Damn it, it should have been me. I failed her. I put her in danger. It's my fault. The blame for what happened to Avesta rests with Riddler, not you. That's nice of you to say. Look, I owe you one for saving my life back there. So I gotta warn you. Waller flipped when she heard you called Gordon instead of her. You really should stay on Waller's good side for as long as you can. For everyone's sake. I'll tell Avesta you asked about her. Alfred, prep the med bay. We're going to need it. You are not fine, Bruce. <laughs> None of this is fine. You were nearly killed tonight. Those minutes of silence, waiting for you to respond, they were the worst of my life. But I didn't know if you were alive or dead, or if... if I would ever see you again. I thought you'd be used to seeing me fly through walls by now. No one gets used to that. We already lost Lucius. I couldn't bear losing you, too. Uh, uh, we... we can talk about all this later. Come on now. Let's get you patched up. As if he wasn't bad enough, now Director Waller knows your identity. That information in her hands? Waller isn't the one we need to worry about. Bane is still on the loose, with enough guns to arm a small militia. Oh, I... I understand. The man died for you tonight, Bruce. Tried to save you from that monstrosity. Too many have died. In too short a time. The cost of this war, it just continues to rise. It's gonna get a lot worse before it gets better. Bane is running free out there. He's just getting started. That's what frightens me, Bruce. We've never seen this kind of destructive power before. Waller is right about one thing. Riddler was just a small part of a larger threat. Let's begin with the dart I pulled from his neck. Got it? I'm good, thanks. There's still some toxin left in here. What kind of toxin? Something new. There's a whole series of powerful psychoactive meds in this cocktail. Drugs that are lethal when combined. Who could have come up with such a concoction? And did the same person pull the trigger? Bane's attack was one of three tonight. All at the same time. Let's bring him up. Get an assessment of the damage. Gothcorp Labs, Genetic Research Facility. Where do we even start with this? Yes, 
I have no idea. Authorities can't determine what was even stolen until all of that melts. At least 20 dead, some completely encased in ice. The others were frozen solid. Some of their limbs shattered as they fled. Waller's intel shows that the thieves made off with numerous pieces of equipment used in the storage and transportation of biological material. I don't even want to think what they bought that for. No IDs on any suspects, though. Security cameras frozen. All witnesses dead. Gotham brokerage. Ten million in diamonds stolen. Some safety deposit boxes emptied. Contents unknown. Over a dozen dead, and even more wounded. Mostly by gunshot, though some victims had their heads smashed in. Oh, that's barbaric! Witnesses place Harleen Quinzel at the scene. Dressed up as a clown, and wielding a mallet. Don't ask me. Riddler's friends are as insane and gruesome as he was. Perhaps even more. Those same witnesses say that she acted alone. All that carnage. All by herself. Guns? Money? Biotech? What are they planning? We won't know until we get to Bane. I don't mean to cause offense, but you're in no shape to beat the information out of that monster. Or take on his friends, if it comes to it. We've already seen how formidable Bane is on his own. Taking on all of them? That would be suicide in your current condition. Of course I could use help. But both the GCPD and the agency are stretched thin. One thing's for sure. We can't just wait around for Bane to strike again. The death toll is already too high. Waller might have been right. Some problems might be better solved by Bruce Wayne. Riddler said his friends abandoned him at the Lady of Dublin. He alluded to the fact that John Doe was one of them. If that's the case, then... Uh... John can get you close to the others. He already wants you to meet them. John Doe might be your best chance of getting inside, finding out what they're up to. John's hardly predictable, but it's a risk I'll have to take. He clearly sees something in you that appeals to him. It'll be dangerous approaching Bane and his people this way. I'll be suspicious of anyone who isn't a proven criminal. You'll have to give the performance of a lifetime to pull the wool over their eyes. Don't worry, Alfred. I'm not planning to stick around for long. Just enough for me to figure out their plan. Yes, and then what? I'll improvise. So that's it then. I find John Doe and accept his offer. Hopefully the invitation is still open. Good thing you hit that tracking device on him when you had the chance. The stack deck. That's where he is. I suppose you couldn't wait an hour or two while you rest. Not a chance. bunch of hired muscle for rich guys. Guys like Bruce Wayne. I see. Billy, tell Bruce Wayne how that makes you feel. Dude, okay. It feels... Uh, no, really? He's on your right. It feels like crap, Wayne. Preach! And you're just a huge 
colossal, gigantic, spoiled pieces. Oh, uh, <laughs> I am. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, I'm going to ignore what I heard. No harm done. <laughs> you set me up. Nonsense. Bruce. Uh, uh, don't mind Willie. We're just messing with you. You look like you could use a drink. Hey, John. What about my medicine? The bottle's under my chair, Willie. I, uh, I run a therapy circle here every second Sunday. These people need the expertise that I learned in Arkham. A tracker, Bruce? Really? I gotta say, I'm disappointed. I thought we'd built more trust between us. I'm sorry, John. All I could think of was getting to Riddler. You were my best chance. I... I should have just... Waited for me to get back to you? Like I said I would? Hey, I said I was sorry. It's rude, duplicitous, and kind of stalkery. But I understand. All is forgiven. So, that rude know-it-all really got what was coming to him. Authorities are refusing to comment on the death of the mysterious criminal known as Riddler. Who am I? Who am I? You're a rotting, stinking corpse. That's who you are. <laughs> John, did you have anything to do with the Riddler's death? Hated the guy, but geez, Bruce, you really think I'd be capable of cold-blooded murder? After everything you know about me, you really think I'd do that? No, 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 of course not. I mean, I know you hated him, but you know, killer. What was I thinking? Uh, I know what you were thinking, but hey, no harm done. Anyway, I was a little surprised to see you, Bruce. I'm guessing this is about that favor I asked. As I recall, you had some reluctance. I've been thinking, and I changed my mind. I'd like to meet them now. Really? You seem pretty against it at the church. Why the sudden change of heart? It's odd doesn't seem like you. The timing wasn't right, but I've reconsidered. The way you described your friends sounded great. A special breed, you said. Inspiring. I like to be around people like me. I didn't realize I was so convincing. Look, before we get into that, I need to come clean. Riddler was more connected to my friends than I'd let on at the funeral. Riddler? Really? Yeah, he was kind of our leader, but he was just so bad at it and so intolerably annoying. I, I thought he'd be out of the picture by the time you came around. I should have told you. I just, I didn't want you to think we were all like him. No secrets between us, ever again. You have my word. I pinky swear. Pinky swear. Friends for life. <laughs> Friends don't plant tracking gadgets on each other. You've got my number. 
Alright, let's go meet the guys. I'll let them know we're on our way. Hey! I'm out of medicine. I don't like your face. I think you're bothering my friend John. <laughs> You've got the wrong idea. We're just having a friendly chat. You calling me a liar? You shouldn't have walked in here. <laughs> <laughs> that was your first mistake. And it's gonna be your last mistake. Calm down, Willie. Let me help you out, huh? A bribe? I can't be bought off that easy, Wayne. Don't insult me. I got standards. I don't take bribes. This cash can buy you a whole lot of medicine. Oh, well, when you, when you put it that way... Thanks, Wayne. Let's get out of here. <laughs> You. Uh, Br Bruce, um, wow. <laughs> one, one more thing. You can't tell anyone this. This is big. It's huge. <laughs> I think I'm in love. It, it's, it's an odd feeling. At, at first, I. I thought I had some kind of disease, but, uh, no, I think it's love. I am so happy, John. You deserve the best. Yeah, I'd blush if I could. So mysterious. You at least gotta tell me your name. She'll, you know, she'll, she'll want to introduce herself, but, uh, if you could please help me look good in front of her. I'd appreciate it. Come on. We shouldn't keep her waiting. Almost got it. Damn it. I thought I had it. Here, uh, give me a hand with this, will you? I'm pretty sure this is how you get this thing started. Come on, come on, come on. I could just buy you a car, you know, something with an actual key. Uh, uh, this works, it's just a matter of trial and error. Just one sec. There we go. You got my attention. Give me one good reason why I don't redecorate the windshield with your noodle. I bet a smart guy like you has some real pretty brains. Real bright. Harley! Stay out of this pudding. Grown ups are talking. <laughs> That's a pretty good reason. I like a guy who's good with his hands. I'm just Josh and your rich boy. See? There wasn't even a bullet in the chamber. <laughs> Oops. 